Abhishek and today we have an instrument of Fluke Power Analyzer Norma 6004. This is a power analyzer that, has in, that is having 500 kilohertz bandwidth. This comes along with these accessories. This is a soft carrying case, aggregator clips and banana cables for voltage and current measurement. This is a charging adapter. This is a USB cable for computer interface. And for computer, this pen drive comes with the software, for PC software. And this is the adapter for uh, communication with the another instrument, like it, this can also work as a master-slave instrument, and a port for torque and speed sensors connection. And this is the getting started user manual. And this is the calibration certificate. This comes along with this instrument. So this series uh, of power analyzer of Fluke make is of 6000 series. This comes with the 6003 model, 6003 plus, 6004 model and 6004 plus. So this model is 6004 plus. So the plus models having the ability that it can connect with the mechanical sensors also. Like this, you can see, we can connect torque sensor and speed sensors here. One is, uh, that is of 10 volt sensor we can connect in this. For this, they are providing this connector that you can easily connect your torque and mechanical sensors. Like this. This is the connector that is supplied with this instrument. And here you can also see, so it is 6004 plus, 4 plus, Plus means this sensor part and the 4 is the 4 channel. The 4 channel part you can see each part is marked with the number 1, 2, 3, 4 and each part have one this voltage banana socket and it has inbuilt shunt up to 10 amperes so you can use it like a multimeter 10 ampere measurement no? that you can do in this and as well as if your requirement is more than 10 amperes you can connect the external sensors current clamps also with this instrument current clamps are not supplied the standard these you can buy as per your requirements so you can see in each channel it is same in build shunt and external sensors this instrument comes with a battery that is able to work maximum up to 10 hours. So this kind of power analyzer, handheld, battery operated are not conventional. Mostly they, they are benchtop. But Fluke comes with this power analyzer for electrical vehicle industry, for power, power measurement, for uh, solar industry. This field power analyzers are very useful. So in this you can see this is the 5.7 inch display. This is the power button system setting button, memory details and this is the brightness button comes screenshot button also. You can just uh, press, press this for two seconds and you can get the screenshot of this screen. And these are multifunction buttons and these are mode buttons like you want to see harmonic, strand, meter mode, the data, meter data, oscilloscope mode and the phaser diagram mode. And you can also hold the measurement and save the data logging, all the things you can do with the help of these numerical keypads. And this side you can see the PC communication port. This is USB PC communication port. This cable comes along with this instrument to connect with the PC. And then there is the port to use connecting with the other instrument. As I tell you in the initial, this instrument can work in master-slave mode. So you can use two such kind of instrument as a 8 channel power analyzer also. Just connecting this to instrument with the help of this port. This connecting uh, connector will also come with this instrument so that you can connect both the instrument and use. You can configure one is master and another is slave. And on the other side, you can also see this is the charging port. So now we turn on this instrument by this power button. Just push it. So 
So it's now booting up. All channels of this power analyzer are isolated. So you can use each and every channel either for AC measurement or DC measurement. It's it's as per the customer requirement. You can use it. And maximum you can measure up to 1000 volt on each channel. So now this is the display that comes initial stage. And initially whenever you want to do any measurement it is important to configure as per your requirement. So you can see here, this F1 button you can push for configuring your instrument. Here you get these configuration details. Like first is range, you can select your range. In range you will get the range for uh, different different channels. So channel 1 you can select and you can set the voltage range as per your requirement. Like you can see here in channel, this auto Either you can put it auto or you can do 10 volts, 100 volt or 1000 volt. You can select as per your requirement. And there are some other uh, settings also like voltage ratio, voltage uh, linear filter you want to on it, you can do this. And another part is your current. Like here I already tell, tell you that you can use internal shunt of up to 10 amperes or either you can use the external sensor as per your requirement of measurement more than 10 amperes so here you can do the settings for different channels either for some of the channels you can use the internal channel or if you want you can use you have the measurement requirement of more than 10 amperes you can use the external sensors for that reason so for that you need to select here as per your requirement like i want the external sensor you can select just check mark so then you need to put the ratio of that sensor whatever sensor you are using you can it is not mandatory that you need to use a particular brand or particular sensor you can use any bnc probe sensor and just put the ratio value that that voltage per ampere value of that sensor that 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 was mentioned in that that should be mentioned on that probe and just you can use it in the same way you can select different channels and configure it as per your requirement like channel 2 settings channel 3 settings channel 4 and as I told you that this, this instrument is having the port for mechanical sensors also torque and speed so here you can do the settings of that sensors also speed sensor and torque sensor so after configuring your instrument as per your requirement for these are the measurement range configuration another is your wiring configuration so you can do the wiring configuration here single phase 2 wire, 3 phase 3 wire, 3 phase 4 wire, 3 phase 3 wire so you can do configuration of wiring also here and like uh, this this uh, instrument is also having a formula putting method also like you can do the efficiency measurement here you can see you can put the efficiency formula as per your requirement like you want to do the uh, like for inverter application if you say we can add the power up of power of one two and three channels and divided by that uh, three uh, four channel like three phase divided by dc power supply you can easily calculate the efficiency so you can put the formula as per your application requirement this is configurable so you can configure as per your requirement these are some other measurement also that you can configure like these are the motor type you can put for the motor measurement you need to put the what kind of motor it is and other uh, voltage and current ratings also before measuring the motor measurements so these are the settings that you can configure for mechanical sensor measurements electrical sensor measurement for your electrical measurements that you can do first here then you can go to meter and you can see the values here it, it is up to 41th it is the first page you can just go to the next page next page next page and you can change it up to 41 41th page and these are the all parameters in the 41 page but user this instrument provides the user that 
customer can configure the user defined parameters like this is preview so you can do the user item also here so for user item just so we can go user item uh, just press back and this is the user item in the help of, with the help of this user item menu just push and you can add the 20 parameters here likewise yes you can add the voltage parameters you can select the voltage parameter these are the voltage parameter like vrms vac vdc uh, v uh, cross factor power factor sorry cross factor peak to peak positive negative thd all the voltage parameters are there you can select the channel also for which channel you want to of the uh, parameter you can do these things and similarly for the current also you can do this these are the current parameters i current dc current ac current vrms cross factor peak current peak positive peak negative peak to peak these i ripple also these are the parameters that you can add and some other parameters are also like power power parameters also there these active power reactive power phase all the parameters are there and these are the efficiency parameters also like efficiency impedance and some formulas are also there like integrated parameters like uh, uh, power and this is a uh, charge and this is frequency parameter so you can you can select for a first second or fourth channel whatever you want so these are the parameters that you can set the remote uh, multi measurement parameters as per your requirements you can add or delete as per your requirements and this will be there except the the these measurement parameter measurement you can also go like these these are the all measurements in the meter mode so we are at present in the meter mode we also want to see the waveform so you, we go to the scope mode and we can see the waveform also so here you can see only a single wave so you can select the channel like it is for the channel 1 voltage waveform you can select the channel 1 current waveform also you can select the multiple simple by selecting select you can get all the waveforms on the same window for the voltage for the current you can see at a time you can select only four so either you can select select four voltage or either you can select four current or mix of that simply you can see this i can share you current also so this you can do as per your requirement you can see the waveform here you can see the triggering level you can set the triggering level from the triggering settings and mark the cursor also vertical cursor horizontal cursor these are all cursors you can use you can move cursor with the help of this so this is the scope mode in this you can use to show the uh, see the waveforms of your concerned voltage or current waveforms in this section you can see the phasor diagram like for three phase measurement you have two type of configurations star or delta configurations you can see here it is set for delta you can just push and change it for star also and you can get all the data here when you have connected the as per the three phase or star delta connection you can get the data here all phase two phase data, voltage current phasor angle and phasor diagram also here in this phasor diagram and there is another mode that is trend so you can set the trend measurement here as per your requirement for any any of the parameter so you can just go to the item and you can add the item item means your trend parameter okay so you can set the any voltage parameter or you can set any current parameter or any parameter that we have seen in the initial mode also so you can set any parameter so you will get the trend of that parameter with respect to time and the last one is the harmonics so in the harmonics this instrument can measure harmonics up to 100th harmonic so in the 100th harmonic you will get the table form of that harmonic measurement or either you can go to the 
bar graph measurement here you can see in a single screen it is up to 50th in the next page it is up to 100th now so this can up to make uh, harmonic measurement up to 100th harmonic and the final one is the FFT you can also get the FFT diagram here. so in the FFT you you can get the linear axis as well as the logarithmic axis also of this is logging so you can log the data also with respect to time by setting the logging in the system and you can set it for the logging for a long duration also so this power quality analyzer can be used for multiple applications of electrical measurements for three phase single phase dc ac measurements of voltage and currents for different applications so we hope that with the help of this video you will get a better understanding about this product so requirement of such kind of fluke or other brand instruments you can visit our website spiengineers.com Thank you.